intersection of a line and a plane. For what values of k will the line x minus k divided by 3 equals to y plus 4 divided by 2 equals to z plus 6 intersect the plane x minus 4y plus 5z plus 5 equals to 0 in single point in an infinite number of points and in no point. So we need to find the value of k so that we can have all these three conditions. So let's consider the parametric form of the equation. We can write x as equals to um, 3t. We can equate this to t, right? All this to t and then write it as 3t and k will come this side. So we can write this as k plus 3t. The y value can be written as minus 4 plus 2t and the z value can in general be written as 1 times t minus 6, right? So minus 6 plus t. So that is a general point on this line. So this signifies a point on the line, right? Do you see that? Point on given line. Now, this point will lie on the line and we need to find point of intersection. So we can substitute this point on the equation of the plane to find point of intersection. So the equation of the plane given to us is x minus 4y plus 5z plus 5 equals to 0. So we can substitute x as k plus 3t, k plus 3t minus 4 times y is minus 4 plus 2t plus 5 times z value is minus 6 plus t plus 5 equals to 0. Now we get k plus 3t minus and minus becomes plus 16 minus 4 times 2 is minus 8 t and then we have minus 30 uh, and 5 times this is plus 5 t and we have plus 5 here equals to 0. Now combine the terms we have k here and 3 t plus minus 8 t plus 5 t so 5 plus 3 is 8 8 minus 8 is 0 so we get 0 t here and as far as the constant is concerned we get 16 minus 30 which is minus 14 minus 14 plus 5 is minus 9 so k minus 9 equals to 0 and that gives us k equals to 9. So from this equation we find k equals to 9 as the value. Now if k equals to 9 then all this will be equal to 0. Do you understand? So we have condition now here that k equals to 9. So if k is 9 then we find that the, since t got cancelled, right? 0 t. We got 0 t here if you see that it, they got cancelled. So for k equals to 9 every point on the line is contained in the plane. So we say that the line is in the plane. For k goes to line, line is in the plane. So that is an infinite number of points. So for the condition 2, we get k goes to 9. So we have infinite number of points for k equals to 9. Now if k is not equal to 9, in that case it will be parallel to the plane and we will get no points of intersection, right? So no point of intersection here. So, so we have two conditions in this case. Either the line is contained in the plane, in that case we have infinite number of points and that happens for k equals to 9 and no point of intersection if k is not equal to 9. Right? So this is not possible. So there is no case for that. Right? Now we can have, we can show it another way of saying how uh, that these two things, that the line is contained in the plane. Now normal to the plane is what? Let's say normal to the plane is actually 1, minus 4 and 5. Right? And the direction of the the line is is equals to 3, 2 and 1, right? This is like z over 1. So direction is 3 to 1. So if the line is contained in the plane, 
then the dot product of the normal and the plane should be zero. So let's check that out. So what is n dot m equals to? So we have 1 minus 4, 5 dot of 3, 2 and 1 equals to what, right? So, so we have 1 times 3 is 3, minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, 5 times 1 is plus 5, and that is indeed 0. Since the dot product is equal to 0, we are sure that the direction of the line and the plane are same, right? So therefore, either the line will be contained in the plane or will be parallel. So we have only two conditions. That is, if k is 9, then the line is contained in the plane and it will have infinite number of points as points of intersection. And if k is not equal to 9, then it is parallel to the plane and we will not have any point of intersection in that case. Thank you.